डॉक्टर वी सुदासन जी श्री वाइको मिस्टर डिप्टी चेयरमैन सर आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू यू फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी गिवन इन द ईयर 1917 व्हेन द ग्रेट अक्टूबर रेवोल्यूशन टुक प्लेस आफ्टर द विक्ट्री द ग्रेट लेनिन स्टेटेड लेट अस गेट एनर्जी पावर we will lead all the other nations here the original act energy conservation act 2001 provides a framework for regulating energy consumption and promoting energy efficiency and energy conservation it will enable using less energy to perform the same task the act has set up the bureau of energy efficiency to recommend regulations and standards for energy consumption they supply to appliances vehicles industrial and commercial establishments and buildings during the cop 26 summit in 2021 that is last year india made the following commitments which may be relevant for energy efficiency efforts one reducing total projected carbon emissions by 1 billion tons by 2030 second reducing the carbon industry intensify of the economy by 45% by 2030 over 2005 levels carbon intensity is defined as the volume of carbon emissions per unit of gdp in addition india aims to have 500 gw of non fossil energy capacity and meet 50% of its energy requirements from renewable energy by 2030 against this backdrop the energy conservation bill was introduced in lok sabha the bill seeks to amend the 2001 act to facilitate the achievement of the cop 26 goals and introduce concepts such as mandated use of non fossil resources and carbon credit trading to ensure faster decarbonization of the indian economy the bill empowers the central government to specify a carbon credit trading scheme the carbon credit implies a tradable permit produce a specific a specified amount of carbon dioxide or other greenhouse emissions the central government or any other agency may issue carbon credit certificates to entities registered and compliant with the scheme the entities will be entitled to trade the certificates the act empowers the central government to specify energy conservation code for buildings the code prescribes energy consumption standards in terms of area the bill amends this is to provide for an energy conservation and sustainable building code this new code will provide norms for energy efficiency and conservation use of renewable energy and other requirements for green buildings the bill provides for provisions including residential buildings which have minimum connected load of 100 kilowatts in my view it should be applicable to commercial buildings only and residential buildings should be excluded from this provision because there will be very few residential buildings which have a load capacity of 100 kilowatts the amount of penalty is also very high namely rupees 10 lakhs for the violation it should be reduced to a reasonable amount the provision of high penalty amount would encourage corruption and harassment to the genuine consumers the bill provides for increasing the governing council members up to 37 since most of the functions fall under the state jurisdiction the government should provide membership for each state in the governing council so that there will be proper coordination and understanding so bureau of energy efficiency is the regulatory authority without the cooperation of the state governments they cannot discharge their functions successfully the governing body of the bureau of energy conservation have under under utilized under utilized the funds by about 50% in the last two years this has to be taken very seriously moreover the government should launch a campaign for energy saving bill bulbs like led among the general public so that the energy can be saved the union government should launch a special scheme of distributing led bulbs at subsidized rates so that 
more people, especially middle class and poor people, would purchase and use them. This government has reduced the budget for Solar Energy Corporation, which is the only public sector undertaking run by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, from rupees 1,800 crore last year to only rupees 1,000 crore this year. What is the justification? You have to increase the solar energy. You have to increase the generation of solar power. We have trained manpower. We have the land. We have the sun. At the same time, around 60% subsidy on solar panels is being reduced, being reduced by this government. And GST on it has been increased from G5 to 12%. Where is the justification? The import duty for the solar panels has been increased. I appreciate the government wants to encourage the domestic manufacturing companies. But the more domestic manufacturing companies have to import certain components from abroad. This import duty is going to cost them very, heavy, very heavily. I will take only one minute, sir. In our region, to, in Tutukuri, in Kanyakumari, Nagarkoyal, wind energy is being produced. But you are reducing the fund allocation. You should encourage more such renewable energy system which does not pollute the environment. The jurisdiction of Bureau of Energy Efficiency in regulating carbon trading is questioned because generally it is the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change that is the nodal ministry, the matter of conservation and carbon credit trading, greenhouse gas emission. Therefore, the Honorable Minister should involve the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in all policy matters. So I request the Honorable Minister to consider all these things so that we can give a better environment to the next I'll generation. I'll call next speaker, Mr. Yes, sir. Vaiko. I have thank completed, you. sir. Yes, no. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have taken three minutes extra. <laughs> Please. Uh, <clears throat> Madam Fauzia Khan. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Chairman.